On the day she resigned, Sarah Courtney was the Minister for Education, Skills, Training, Workforce Growth, Disability Services, Children and Youth, Tourism, Hospitality and Events. Because you're not supposed to overwork it, is that no. not right? Prior to that, she was the Health Minister for much of the pandemic. The past two years in particular has been uh, especially gruelling, rewarding but uh, very gruelling and exhausting. Having the opportunity to actually spend meaningful time with the people I love is something that um, is very dear to my heart. Ms Courtney is the latest in a line of Liberals who've walked out the door since 2014. Paul Harris, Adam Brooks, twice, Matthew Groom, Reen Hidding, Will Hodgman and Joan Ryler have all resigned from the state government, with some citing familiar reasons. Ruth and I have always been very conscious of the impact that uh, life in politics can have on family. It does have an impact on my family and I, I cannot deny that uh, I'm conscious of that. Last year the Premier acknowledged the personal toll of politics and reduced his workload after a health scare that he blamed on overwork and stress. My body's not a machine, I hit the wall and I was quite unwell. Ministers juggling multiple portfolios isn't a new thing, but there used to be 35 members in the lower house, meaning options for a larger cabinet. That was cut in the late 90s to 25 members. The fact is the parliament is too small, there are not enough ministers of calibre and the workload is extraordinary. It's unsustainable, it's not good for democracy, it's not good for the health of ministers and it's terrible for governance. Now at this particular point in time, uh, the, house, uh, the size of the house is not one of the priorities of the government. You know, I have indicated that um, in the past, as did the previous Premier, that once our finances were in a position that you know, consideration could be given, then consideration uh, would, uh, would be had. Despite the workload, sympathy can be hard to come by for ministers. I do think it's a tough ask, but you know they are well remunerated and they are looked after and there are ways of dealing with it. Sarah Courtney's former Cabinet colleagues now set to deal with even more. Ellen Coulter, ABC News.